heartbeat of Nigeria. Uh, I, I think uh, something is missing in our conversation. Uh, some people have touched on those issues, but we didn't drag it home. This debate on Lassa fever is related to the one on malaria. But I don't want to talk about the international donors or the federal government. This problem is right in the bedroom of our state governments and local governments and community leaders. Growing up in this country, we are sanitary inspectors. They came in, inspected your compound, followed by those who would even spray for malaria. Then I picked up cans of milk, cans of uh, butter that we imagined that we had consumed. They made me pick those things and put them in the trash can. Today, we have become big men and big women because, like some colleagues have mentioned, the drugs are there. You can walk into H Medics or anywhere and get malaria, they give you drugs. Lassa fever is a very, very dangerous form of disease. Those rats, you are calling them rodents, that is a big name for them, they rats. You fumigate your house, they disappear into the hole. Even if you fumigate the hole, they come in from the next compound that has not fumigated. You can't get rid of them like that. But unless there is a total agreement on environmental health and sanitation. We don't teach these things in our schools. I was even shocked to hear that some states have banned the once a month environmental sanitation. Some states ban it with glee. The reason, I don't know. Every day we are retreating from those things we used to do that protected our communities and environments and made us feel safe. Mr. Speaker, our local governments receive a lot of money every month. Our state governments receive a lot of money every month. There should be a campaign to direct the attention of state and local governments to the need to keep the environment safe and restore sanitary and health sanitation. It doesn't, it doesn't take anything away from them. They have schools that teach this, but they have no health inspectors. Uh, Mr. Speaker, if you want to solve the big problem, you solve the small one first. If we don't look at home, we don't look at the source, at the substructure, and we're looking at the superstructure, America will come with a solution. It may not work. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for this opportunity. <laughs>